hi everyone uh, today i will show you how we can draw this type of drawing in autocad uh, we will draw this drawing in 2d then we will do the dimensioning and after that we will convert this drawing into 3d drawing so this drawing is going to beneficial who want to learn autocad or who are the beginners so let's start first we will create this 90 mm line here to create a line we have to select a line here and draw a point here and we have to make your thorn and click this one to make the orthone and after that give the length is 90 enter and now we will create a um, big circle here r40 to create a circle click on circle and select midpoint here first one is the radius when you select any circle it will ask radius so i will give the radius 40 and second radius is this one 20 again enter select endpoint now type 20 enter again enter then command will continue enter here and we have to create this circle also which is 93 mm downside you type here o o for offset type the distance is 93 select this one and click the cursor below in which side you want to offset i want to offset downside so my cursor is downside enter here now again i will take a line here select this line and extend the edges here we have to create a circle of radius 20 again click on circle enter we have already radius 20 here and then enter and we have inside radius is diameter 20 so radius is 10 again select the circle here now radius is 10 type 10 enter then again enter here enter enter take a line and click on this again take a line here and we create the basic shape here now we will um, draw the radius this radius type f for fillet enter type r for radius and give the distance is radius is 9 type 9 select the big circle and the smaller circle enter again select the bigger circle and the smaller circle now we have to create this r80 radius for that we have to click on c circle and select here or you can click on tangent radius this one and this one and give the radius 80 we will trim the extra circle type tr for trim enter click here and click here and type e raise for extra circle now we have to create this tangent line from this point to this point again select this line type 10 select this object enter select this select line type 
10 here and then again 10 and escape so this line is also created now we have to offset 12 type O for offset and give the distance 12 offset this side offset this side and this time we have to give a radius R5 if here F for fillet type R for radius and radius is 5 select this circle and this line enter the circle and this line and this arc and this circle and this arc and this circle and here we have to create a circle here type C and my radius is 19 first one again create circle and now diameter is 14 and I will give the radius 14 half of the diameter now our basic drawing is created and now we will change the center line and everything when you zoom it and it is a double line center line how we can add here click here on layer click on others click on load and you can select any lines as per your own requirement but for this drawing I have to choose this double dot line here okay and I will select the center line also so we have to select this one and select the center line you can see that mm, it is not looking great we have to change the scale type here LTS and make the scale point 2 now it is okay here and this circle we have to make a double line first we have to type BR break and we will similarly we will break here break here and now we have to select this and type a phantom line so this line we have to convert center line here click on match properties select this line select this and this it automatically match the properties of the selecting line so we are successfully draw this drawing in 2d and we will trim these extra circles and now we will erase this one you can see that it's perfectly matching now So now we will do the dimensioning. For dimensioning setting, we have to type a D here and this dimension style manager will open. Here you have to click on modify and first is lines. Here you can change the color of the lines. I will change the color to yellow here and next is the symbol. Here you also change the lines as per your own requirement. I will select on symbols here and I will change the arrow size 4 here. And here you can change all the arrows as per your own requirement. I will keep as it is arrow only, close fill, click on text, 
click on text color I will make it green and I will give the height 4 here and I will use a line with dimension OK here and then click on primary units and here I will want only 0 no points click OK OK for doing the dimensioning we have to click on annotate and here you have to select on linear and we will on the on snap here it is 90 here then again select this one to this one it is 45 again select this one to this one here it is 93 and for radius you have to click this arrow select the radius here and I will select this one R14 this is R9 and this is R20 this is R5 here this is R80 and now we have to click here and select on diameter and this is 20 this is 28 and we have to give a radius for this one R and here we have to give this 12 dimension it is not horizontal or vertical for that we have to click on a line dimension select this and this same way select this midpoint to this midpoint is 12 so in this way we have successfully model this 2d drawing and then we do the dimensioning now we will convert this drawing to 3d drawing let's do that now we will erase this one for 3D, 3D drawing, we have to click on this gear symbol here. Click on 3D modeling. We are now 3D. And here you first we will copy this one. And we will this delete dimension and extra lines here. For 3D modeling we have to make a single geometry to extrude now we will trim this make sure there is no extra line otherwise it will not join So to join into single entity, you can see it is different different now. So it will not extrude. We have to make a single entity. Type REG region. Enter and select all. Now it is a single entity. You can see that. Now we will extrude this one. Here you click on South Isometric here. I will again copy more here. And now I will extrude this one. To extrude, click on extrude here. Select all. Enter. And I give the distance 30. To see 3D modeling, click on wireframe. Click on here conceptual. You can see that our 3D is created but click on top view here and rotate here we have this hole here this one this three hole how we can do that 
click on subtract select the main object enter this circle this one mm -hmm. <laughs> this main object this circle this one this one this one we did something wrong here we will do one by one main circle here enter again main circle enter select this one We are not picking correctly here. This is the main body. Enter. Enter. Again, select this one. Enter. Enter. Again, this body. And this one. Enter. In this circle enter we will come back to 2d here and we will read this circle here now from this subject to in 2d you can pick easily the edges Now click the circle here and to be here. Now we will extrude this one to five. Again, we will subtract from this object, enter and this one, enter, click on conceptual and you can see that we created the 3d drawing so here you can choose the elastic and the image will be very fine here now you double click and type change properties and you can change the color if you want to fill it then you click on solid click on fillet edges select the edges type r and give to radius enter enter so we in this way we can create the radius also Hope you learn how we can create a 2D drawing and after that we convert into 3D drawing. If you have any comment related to this one, please comment in the comment box.